lovelies so today I'm going to have a another review on a product for you guys and I've lately been really enjoying reviewing like specific products and I did receive a couple requests to do a review on the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette um, this was recently sent to me um, and I did use it in a tutorial already and actually two tutorials to be honest like I've seriously been loving it but I'm going to give you more like reasons to why I like it and why um, I've been using it so much lately, literally I've been using it every day. I've written some notes here to why I like it. Um, and also if you want to see more product reviews of any like products, just let me know and then I'll try to get my hands on it and do a review for you guys. So this is what the Shape Shifter palette looks like and I have the shade Medium Dark Shift. Out of all the palettes, I believe this is the darkest one and I find that this is the best match for me. I've checked on the website and this I felt like was the good best match. This is around £40 so it is a high end. It's kind of like purchasing their palettes but it's more of like not for the eyes but for your face. Um, you've literally got everything in there including your colour corrector. Um, so literally like when I'm in a rush this is all I use. Um, because when I'm going to work and stuff like I don't have time to just like reach for so many products like this is just all in one the packaging is super sturdy it literally feels like a block like a brick the packaging is also really really pretty as well this is what it looks like it's just stunning I also feel like you get a ton for the money you're paying so a ton of product the pans are big the contours like I feel like I've touched them barely well I've used them like so many times like I would say four to five times now and the products haven't like especially the creams don't even have a dent in them so I feel like yes you do get a lot of product for the price you're pay paying it's so convenient that you have a mirror on both sides so convenient in terms of the product themselves I have to say that they're super super easy to blend um, extremely easy to blend I, I did grab one of the powder contour shades and I um, like accidentally like put so much and I was able to just softly blend it away with my setting powder brush and then put some more on top just to make sure everything was diffused. I have used it on my face today and I did do have a makeup tutorial up on my channel already so I'll leave a link in the info box if you want to see the this palette in action and you know like how to get this look. Creams are pigmented but they have like this velvet matte finish um, especially when you touch them they feel velvety and I feel like because the colour corrector is that velvet matte finish it doesn't mix in with whatever you put on top of it which is so convenient even if you did use like a light to medium coverage foundation you could totally wear it on top of the corrector without it showing through or without it mixing up with the product on top um, the highlight shade is also another one because I have a ton of concealers that are like my skin tone and I want to get through using them and I feel like I can use those concealers and still lighten it up with you by using this um, cream highlight shade the contour is very dark but a little goes a long way and I feel like I'm, I'm wearing it today and seriously like I just put a little bit like a dollop and then I can just blend it with my beauty blender I do prefer to use the contour with the beat like I put it on with a brush and then I blend it with the beauty blender and I feel like I get the soft blended look with that um, I do struggle a bit with a brush I would have to say the powdered contours are not too warm they're just like that right amount of coolness um, my favorite contour color is this one right here and I do use this one underneath the cream one um, the highlight looks pink I don't know if you guys can see but once you when you look at the palette it look, has this pinky tone to it but I'm super surprised by it because literally when you put it on the skin it's this pure gold highlight and I'm wearing it today on my temples and my cheeks um, and it's just this the perfect gold highlight even though it looks pink in the pan I'm just so confused by it because it doesn't look pink on the skin so yeah the highlight I am loving I'm not really digging the cream highlight I just feel like it's a tad bit sparkly but do you know what I'm probably still gonna maybe use it like you know on days where I just want a soft natural look because it's not as pigmented as your powder highlight in the palette and I also want to say that these products are super long wearing because I've been wearing it like all day like for 10 hours straight when I'm going to work and stuff and it will stay on like it won't budge it won't go patchy there's no patchiness at all I do have a couple of downsides which are not big downsides because you know you just can't avoid them so basically one of the downsides is the price it is around 40 pounds it's a bit pricey um, but it's a high-end product Urban Decay palette like you pay £40 for an Ever Decay eyeshadow palette, you're paying £40 for 
like a face palette like literally you've got your highlight your corrector your contour your highlight your setting powder literally the setting powder is so nice prevents creasing it does a really really good job but obviously you can't bake with it that's the only thing but to be honest i'm totally fine with that and i really really like the setting powder it's literally it gives this like effect of like it smooths everything out when you put it under your eyes i'm wearing the whole palette on right now like most of the colors and you to me like it looks pretty good so i can't i can tell you why i love it and i can also show you why i love it and i feel like it looks makes my face i have a round face i need some contour you know so i feel like it definitely snatches my face like it contours it gives definition that's why I really, really love it. And another downside to the palette is that this shade, I find that it's too dark for me. I'll probably only be able to use this if I get a bit tan during summer. And then um, this peachy color right here, I feel like it's too peachy and like pinky. So that's why I haven't used it. But like, I probably won't even touch that color, but that's the downside to it. But that's it really, those are the two downside, the price and some of the shades that I can't really use on my skin tone. But if I am doing like other people's makeup, I could probably use those colours on them. But that's it guys, I think that's all I have to say. Uh, what would I rate it? I'll probably rate it a 9 out of 10. It's that good, definitely worth your money. I haven't really seen many YouTubers talk about it or use it. I don't know why, I just feel like it's really, really good. Maybe go in store, try it out, see what you think give it a feel like they feel amazing if you have any questions about the product make sure to ask them in the comments below i'll answer all your questions and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to let me know what other product reviews you would like to see and i love you guys i'll see you next time bye guys